Okay, so let's put the sleeve in. So the first thing we need to do is put get um, E stitches in, which are going to start about an inch after your um, directional notches. Okay, so there's my directional notch right there, and I'm putting it starting about an inch after it towards the cap. And you'll put these in um, starting at a half inch, and you're going to do two rows of them, and make sure you leave long threads at the beginning and end. Do not back tack, okay? Because um, you need to be able to pull on those threads and ease the cap into the armhole of the jacket. Okay, so there's one row. And now we're going to do our second row an eighth of an inch away and closer or into the seam allowance. Okay, what I'm going to do is use the toe of my foot, the inside toe there, and I'm going to run the first line of stitching right along the inside of that toe, and that's what we'll use as a guide. And that's what I'm doing um, to make these an eighth of an inch away. All right, there are two rows. There we go. So do that to both sleeves. Now take your jacket and pull out your shoulder pads. Remember they're just basted in. So just pull both shoulder pads out because you cannot put your sleeves in with the shoulder pads in. So one and two. All right. So line up your side seam of your jacket with the notch at the bottom of your arm well in your sleeve. and then pin it together. Okay, and then I'm gonna find the notch at the cap, the top of the cap of my sleeve and line that up with my shoulder seam on my jacket. And pin that as well. Now working out from your underarm seam, I'm just moving those long threads out of the way. So working up from the uh, well of the sleeve, we're going to pin out until we get to where our E stitches begin. And remember when you did your E stitches you want to uh, lengthen your stitch, okay? So don't do it on your regular construction stitch, do a longer stitch. So go ahead and pin out. And I'm getting to about where my E stitches start. And I'll put a pin in. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, now that we've pinned up to our E-stitches, let's grab both of those threads and pull them. And we're going to shrink the cap of the sleeve so it's smaller than it needs to be, and then pull it right out to the right size. Okay. And then I'm going to put a pin in right at the bottom of my E-stitches if there's not one in there already, and I'm just going to lock in those E-stitches so they don't move on me. And then I'm going to spread the E's evenly between the cap of my sleeve, the top, the pin where the cap, you know, where the sleeve attached to my shoulder and where the E stitches begin. So it's just on one side. And now I'll just pin that in place. Okay. And once that's secure, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Grab those E stitches, both of them, pull the sleeve, pull it so the E's, the cap or the sleeve is smaller than the armhole, and then pull all of it at once and get it to the right side, right size. Okay, that 
that looks good there. Make sure it matches up. And once you've done that, lock those stitches in place. Make sure that you're easing the sleeve to the jacket armhole, not the jacket armhole to the sleeve. If that happens, then that's totally wrong. Okay. And then again, spread out that ease between where your ease stitches start and the shoulder seam and pin in place. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So do that to both sleeves, and once you've done that, head to the sewing machine. Okay, so start at the bottom of your armhole, and make sure you're doing your regular construction stitch now. So if you lengthened your stitches for the, creating the ease of the sleeve, make sure you put them back to your uh, regular construction stitch. And then um, go ahead and sew around. And I notice here that the side that's against the feed dogs is the jacket, and the side that's facing up, that's under the presser foot, is the um, sleeve. Okay? And make sure you back tack at the beginning and end. Now, in stitching on, be careful, you'll probably have a lot of pins in. Okay? Um, you can stitch over your pins very carefully what you want to do is probably just when you get to a pin use the um, wheel the flywheel the sewing machine and walk it over the pins so very carefully this is um, a very if you don't you're just stitching along um, your needle can definitely hit a pin and break your needle bend your pin um, and the needle can even break off and hit you in the face or in the eye if you're not careful enough Once you get to the part that has ease in the cap, just slowly go around it. Make sure your ease is not bunching up or anything. And creating puckers or folds in the uh, cap of the sleeve. Okay? So make sure as you're doing it, it's nice and smooth. I mean, you will have some ease, so it won't be perfectly smooth, but make sure there's nothing bunching up underneath. You'll notice that I'm just going slowly and removing pins as I go. I don't remove them until it's very close to where it's going to be stitched because I don't want my um, cappies in the sleeve to move on me. Okay. Make sure when you're turning the jacket around, as you turn the, as you go around the armhole, you'll have to move your jacket and flip it around. So just be careful it doesn't pull the um, jacket from underneath the uh, presser foot. There we are, almost done. Okay, back tack here. And there we go. You go ahead and cut your sleeve. I'm just checking it now. Make sure there's no puckers or folds. Nothing got caught underneath. And make sure it's laying nice. It's fitting in there nicely. 
looks good. And if that's good, you can go ahead and just put on your form. And there we go. We got both sleeves stitched in.